Hello, hello. We're gonna get this started in just a moment. <clears throat> All righty then. Here we are. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another exciting streaming Friday where we're going to do something ridiculous in Majora's Mask. Um, today, instead of a short, uh, which is usually released every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're going to do something that I've been meaning to do for a long time. Now, a lot of these runs that I've been doing um, have not focused around glitches. And today, we're going to change that up. Now, originally, I wanted this to be a speed run. Uh, but I've just been too busy. So it's going to be more of a glitch exhibition. And the idea behind today's run <clears throat> is to show a unique way to grab all of the living items in Termina. And there's quite a few. And you might notice um, we have some splits here to kind of track the time. So if you want to try to beat my time, that would be awesome. Um, I will post a route as well. But the idea will be to try to catch every single living item and have a collection. So we have like a zoo, because we all know that's Link's true profession. We saw it in Twilight Princess. He just wants to like have a farm. So that's what our challenge is gonna be today. So we're gonna be starting off and um, I'll be explaining um, the run as it goes on and what it's gonna entail uh, and what sort of glitches that we're gonna be doing. Now I'm not an expert, um, but I do know quite a few of them. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. So we're starting with the base game. And like I said, I'll explain it more as it goes on because there's a lot of cutscenes, but we will be skipping some of those. So, zoo percent, what is it? Yes, we are going to teach some very interesting mechanics and secrets in this run. I discovered a lot of things. Um, a lot of like these secrets and oddities that I find are just like when I'm compiling runs, like three day challenges or little glitch runs. So there are some cool things I learned. Um, and I guess announcement, um, this video will officially be the start of the new series, Glitches and Tricks. So we had Secrets and Oddities, Link Between Games, uh, Remake Quirks, which those are still gonna be going on, but Majora's Mask's Secrets and Oddities will eventually come to a close. There are other Secrets and Oddities in the Zelda universe and other games I wanna explore, but Majora's Mask will live on with its own unique glitches and tricks. So we're gonna be demoing a lot of those today, which is gonna be really cool. Hola. We are just getting started. Oh yeah, let's start the run. Here we go. So, again, what is the goal? The goal is to grab every single living item that we can and put it in a bottle. Now you might notice there's a lot of, there's a lot of things here. Um, there are more things here than there are bottles in the game. So we're going to have to find a way around that. Um, we're going to have to do some shenanigans in order to grab all of the items and have all of them at the same time. Because if we want to be a true zoo owner and have a farm... Oh, okay. Don't look, guys. It's child violence. Don't look. Okay. We're okay. Um, if we want to have a zoo and a farm, we're going to need to capture all of the animals. So... So we are just getting started. Um, if my sound levels are off or weird, please let me know. I, I did a little check before this and everything seemed to be okay. Hello, hola. Ah, gu guten, guten Tag. Guten Abend. Yeah, it's like 6 p.m. there, sealand fish. So if you've seen my runs before, uh, you'll know that they're fairly long affairs and they're usually glitchless. Today, 
is not the case. Um, this run will be a little bit shorter than normal runs. And the reason is, is because I have a video I'm working on. Um, I have a three part mini series coming out on Majora's Mask. Um, so I want to dedicate some time to that. Still need to work on my shorts, starting a new series called, uh, as I announced just earlier, glitches and tricks. Oh, so you're gonna get a sneak peek of some of those, but there's a lot of things I found in this run by accident that are just ridiculous. So it's gonna be pretty fun. Yes, this is vanilla. And um, just to show, um, I am playing on a Nintendo Switch online. So if you have a Nintendo Switch and you have the online expansion, you can absolutely do this. So, um, now some things crash. I'm gonna try not to use save states, uh, but I will make a safety save just in case because some things just crash the game and it's just terrible. And uh, I'll explain when we get there. It's near the end of the run, which is gonna be fun. So like I said, this is not gonna be your normal run. Um, it is gonna be a little bit slower pace. And again, we're just gonna kind of show off some of these glitches and tricks in order to grab all of the living items, which again, are here listed. Or here, up here. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to grab some money. Um, quick source of money, of course, is uh, this chest here. Located just behind the town shooting gallery. So this one has a silver rupee, which I always thought was funny. It's like a single rupee worth 100. But because our wallet only holds 99, like, do we chip some of it off? Like, we scratch a little, like, one rupee worth of silver off? How, how does that even work? Like, you, you you can't just pick up the one rupee? I don't know. I don't know. That's the bigger questions in life. So the first thing we're going to be doing is grabbing bombs. Um, if you've seen a speed run before, you'll know just how important bombs are. And uh, now that we have bombs, we're going to be doing some odd errands. Now, some of this is going to look very strange. You're going to be like, all right, if we're getting all the items, what are we doing now? Um, well, you'll see every single thing that happens in this run has a purpose and a point. So we're going to be going to the laundry pool to collect a fairy, obviously. That directly helps us in getting all of the items that we need. Oh, Guatemala, hello. Welcome. All right, so we grabbed a, a ferry there because obviously we need it. And you'll notice that we're not slowing down time. Uh, we are not going to be as much as we can um, because we actually want time to flow. There are certain events that we want to hit. So it's actually faster if we just let flow uh, time flow naturally. So again, the objective of this run is to grab a living item and cr create a zoo. So obviously the second thing we do is uh, grab the great fairy mask. Great fairy masks. Why, why, why do we have this item? I, it's, it's mystery. But this is one of the first and fastest masks that we can grab, so we are going to grab it. Get that free magic refill as well. Didn't know we were low on magic. You say that, Sealand Fish. But dragonflies are always in the run. It would not be a run without dragonflies. In fact, I had the chance to route out dragonflies, actively decided against it. It's just the way I roll. But anyway, so we grabbed a great fairy mask and now we're running outside. Uh, I know the beginning of this run, very confusing. How is this, how is this helping us get a bottle? How is this, 
How is this getting us any closer to objective of opening a farm? Um, well, we'll just have to see. So we're gonna kill this Dodongo here, or at least attempt to. There we go. It is possible to stun lock the Dodongo. Yeah, luckily we will not be as time constricted. The only constrictions we have is the fact that the game might literally die. Um, there are some crazy glitches in this run that could just make the game explode. Um, and that would require a full reset. So we'll just hope that those things don't happen. But again, I'll explain this when those come near. All right. So the first thing we're going to be doing is, um, who actually, actually, we're going to take a quick pit stop. Actually, um, I have my notes here. I should read them. And the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing uh, something super important, obviously. Oh, it's not, okay. And let me in. See, we need to be here at 10 a.m. anyway, so play didn't have to be super optimal. And again, none of this will be super optimal, so if that's what you're looking for, please adjust your mindset on that one. So yeah, we're gonna go, um, cafe mask. What are we doing? The cafe quest? How's, how's that gonna help us with our zoo quest? Stay tuned. <clears throat> All right. All right, so we're going back to the bomb shop. And uh, after this, the run really begins. It's a lot of uh, prerequisites that need to be done. So we're gonna buy more bomb juice. <clears throat> and we're gonna perform the first trick, probably the trick everyone's seen a million times. Uh, we're gonna do something called ISG or infinite sword glitch and uh, get our sword to the state where it's like all white. It's like a lightsaber. Um, and that means the sword is constantly slashing. And we're gonna look over here. We're gonna put on our bombs and bomb shoes and we're just gonna do some crazy stuff. So this is uh, Chew Hovering. And this is called Bomb Hovering. do uh we just bomb hovered uh, completely out of bounds and we ended up in this place over here where there's an owl statue normally you can't get here uh there is a loading zone you hit those stairs you go somewhere else but we got here and we got to an owl statue now i'm gonna hit it and it's gonna activate um <laughs> fun fact the rest of clock town is a little messed up you can actually see that they made a flooring here uh, but the flooring doesn't exist and we're just flying through. So I, so I hit this owl. This owl is a very special owl. Um, you'll notice that if we look from over here, the owl is activated. It, it looks activated. It, however, once we get here, we notice the owl is not. So that's the first thing we did. Why did we do that? Some of you may know already by the name of Index Warping. 
and we're gonna explain how that's gonna come in use a lot later which th honestly I literally had a couple of days to put this run together a lot of these tricks are brand new to me um, so I hope it goes well I had like three days to practice um, so we're gonna be doing another trick right away um, the trick we're gonna be doing now is time stop it thinks that we're talking to this stone here, but we're not. And the camera's all weird. Now, what's happening here is I've actually stopped time. Kinda. Um, it makes certain things not happen. Usually when you'd walk in front of this tree, a cutscene would happen. Cutscene no longer happens if we've stopped time. So we saved a whole bunch of time there, even me just walking around and explaining. Very simple. So, let's explain some of those glitches I did before. I did something called ISG, or Infinite Sword Glitch. Um, that allows you to do hovering. Um, so you saw me flying in the air. I did that with bombs and bomb shoes. And um, that's a pretty common uh, glitch as well. If you've seen a speed run, you've seen that a dozen times. Fairly, fairly straightforward. Uh, Majora's Mask is very similar to Ocarina of Time, where you can hover in both. But, if you're looking to start hovering, Majora's Mask is infinitely easier. I cannot begin to explain how much easier it is to hover in this game than it is in OOT. For example, in this game, the bomb explosions act very differently than Ocarina of Time. Uh, it's just more conducive to an easier uh, hover. In addition, this game does not require hover boots. For whatever reason, Child Link can just fly in his own. Um, so, super useful. Oh, uh, we're gonna be killing this and grabbing nuts. <clears throat> nuts are important. You're gonna see why. Um, now you, you might notice that my gameplay isn't perfect. Again, that's because I want time to pass. I could be uh, super sliding and ESS sliding all throughout here, but again, three days to practice. <laughs> this is not supposed to be insanely optimal. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is going through the forest or the, 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 the mystery woods to get Finally, an item that can help us on our quest. Like, like, Brando, what, what have we been doing? We got masks, we got bombs, we're hitting owls that don't exist. What, what is the point of this? Here we go. Finally, something that can help us. A bottle. Because remember, for Zoo Percent, we need to capture every living item that we can, just give her a quick slash, um, in a bottle. So we're gonna need a lot of bottles. So the, uh, the first easiest and by far fastest bottle, of course, is the bottle you get from the Magic Hags, Kum and Kotake. Kotake? Uh, no, no. Debatable. All right, let's get rid of this potion. And uh, easy way to get rid of it is just giving it back to the hag. Um, there is a way to uh, get further in here without using the boat cruise, but the boat cruise is a good way for me to take some time and explain some more things. Kotaka. It's very possible that's the uh, uh, pronunciation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in Japanese, they don't have a lot of like silent letters, if any, it, 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 every symbol means something. Okay. All right, so we have our bottle and we have a free boat ride. Um, pictograph is something we also need. So, uh, we couldn't have just abandoned her. We actually need the pictograph <clears throat> to take pictures, um, which, um, actually is important. You'll see in the splits we have the seahorse. Uh, the pictograph is going to become very useful for that. <clears throat> Fun fact, we can run with these monkeys, and they literally disappear out of existence. Right there. I guess the game never thought you were going to go that fast. But, evidently. Yeah, the magic monkeys are literally magic. 
I wish I had their magic. But don't worry, we actually do have magic of our own in the form of index warping, which if you don't know what it is, stay tuned. Going to be some fun things coming with that. All right, we got our pictograph. Cool. So it's around, what time? 6 p.m. right now? Okay, cool. So we want certain things to happen at certain times, um, and this is going to be one of them. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this will work out. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm just reviewing my notes over here. All right, cool. So um, what, what are we doing here in the palace? Uh, there's a couple of things, actually. Uh, we got our bottle, which is very important. And uh, we're also going to need a song called the Song of Soaring. Um, in addition to that, there's another song we're going to get called the Sonata of Awakening. So both of those we can grab here. And trust me, those are going to help us grab our bottles because you can see a lot of these items. Some of these items are very easy to get. Fish. Bugs? That's... We're, we're gonna grab those literally right now. Fish and bugs. Up, up. What? No way! Oh my gosh! I did not know that! Okay, so what just happened there? Okay, that is actually really funny. I love that. Um, if you're a Deku and you go into the water and void out, it puts you back in the last land that you have stood on. Because the last land I stood on was on the boat cruise, then it takes you all the way back to the boat cruise line. And that is just hilarious. That is pretty cool. I guess this boat doesn't count as land. You learn something new every time. That's how I get a lot of the uh, secrets and oddities, is just like, trying to do runs. Okay, let's, uh, let's not mess this up. I literally can't afford it. Ah, sweet land. Okay, cool. So we're over here. And over here is a, a very nifty grotto. <clears throat> and we are going to capture our first, uh, our first member to the zoo and maybe the most important, fish. Fish is so important. I can't begin to explain why. All right, and we're gonna come to a big glitch here. This glitch is called bottle duping um now you saw link shuffle his feet there <laughs> by shuffling his feet yeah they make delicious tasty sandwiches okay oops um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually catch an item in a bottle and when i do that that bottle is gonna be in my hand for whatever reason that holds special properties if I ESS turn, which is like when I go like this, and I press bottle and a mask, I can dupe over the mask with a bottle. So the reason we got these two masks was to get more items. Um, so now that we have this, we can get our next item, bugs. Wow, we're on a roll, guys. We're all, we'll also grab sticks. And a little bit of money. This grotto is so helpful. Literally the best grotto in the game. So, uh, as you can see, we now have three bottles. And we're going to need a lot more bottles as we go through the run. Um, now, you might be thinking, you know, what can you dupe over? 
you can dupe over most masks that are not transformative. It's so like those masks. You can't quite dupe over the uh, deck mask. You can also dupe over a couple of items, and we'll get to those uh, in a moment, but not all items. There are some restrictions. So. Or a Deku Palace. Now, normally there's this long... Um, kind of like maze that we have to go through. Um, here's a trick. Not required at all. You can just jump on here, do a backflip right over the top of them. Totally fine. And we're going to go what appears to be the complete wrong way. I was, I've never been caught like that before. E every time I'm in guards, I learn something new. Uh, we're going to do this hoverless. Um, I think it's a little more interesting this way. Right, please, please don't see me. So normally, um, you, you might see speedrunners just do a little hover up here. But what I thought was interesting is that this door, this door here can be backflipped on. Which, it, it's such an insane backflip, I don't know how he does it. And once you're up here, you can just actually, if you uh, can manage... Ooh, that was a bad jump. You can actually jump up and grab that ledge there. And that's what we're going to try to do. There we go. And once we're up here, we actually have free access. Oh, watch out for that guy. Now, uh, interesting to note, you can't jump off here. You just kind of fall off. But you can still make it onto this uh, flower over here. So instead of going through the entire process of getting a bean, planting it, um, going through the maze on both sections, getting spring water, um, you can just do a backflip and just jump up top. And there's no glitches there. Those are all just like, I guess you can call them tricks. And I guess you can divide these kinds of things in two categories, like tricks and glitches. That, that was a trick. Um, there was nothing game-breaking there. It wasn't like when I was flying with bombs earlier. That was just- I just backflipped. Backflipped and jumped. So, it's always interesting to make that, um, distinction between what's going on here. So the route next, you can see the next thing we're going to be going for is the Deku Princess. Unfortunately, there's only one way to get the Deku Princess. Which, I learned some interesting things about the Deku Princess with testing recently. Um, but we have to go through Woodfall Temple. So, spoilers. up the game volume a little bit. All right. So we got Sonata. And after this, we are going to go grab... First, we're going to deal with some dragonflies, which is the bane of our existence. Uh, but after that, we're going to... Um, grab the Song of Soaring, which, as someone had alluded to earlier, that is... The name of the game when it comes to index warping.
yeah, there's a lot of things that can be in bottles. It's it, it's astounding. And, and, and these are just the living things. Okay, so we already got wrecked by dragonflies once. Twice. Dragonflies are the worst. If Majora just turned into a dragonfly, he would destroy everything. You guys are the worst. Just give me a break. Just let me fly. You're so mean. Just, just... Flower. Okay, cool. Dragonflies are the worst. <sighs> okay, Poe's are not technically alive. What kind of... Whatever. The, the, it's It moves on its own. It's it's doing a thing. I don't know. What's a better word for it? Things that are like actively moving in a bottle. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna learn Song of Soaring. Um, except we can't use it the way you think so. We, we can. So because we hit this weird owl in Clock Town, that's gonna activate a glitch called Index Warping, which can allow us... <laughs> I hate you. Um, which can allow us to warp uh, almost anywhere in the game. Um, but there's a caveat. We can't ever hit another owl again. And the way we activate it is based on our locations on the map. So, I'll explain that a little more when we actually start using Index Warping. <clears throat> but it is a powerful tool. And honestly, we made this whole run possible. Things with souls? I, it, I'm, I mean, is it a Poe po soul? Is that a soul? I don't know. Do bugs have a soul? Man, we're getting metaphysical today. I wasn't expecting this. Let's see if I can get the frame. Ah, oh, you can take out your ocarina frame perfect and skip that, but... Um. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Son of a glitch. Yeah, index warping is super useful, and we're gonna get some real-life usage here. Uh, index warping can also crash the game. Haha, -ha, so fun. I need to be very careful when I do it, or else the game just explodes. Um, so Nintendo is probably, like, watching me play this game and go, what the heck is this guy doing? Like, the game crashed, like, literally a dozen times yesterday in testing. So Nintendo's like, we need to stop this. Miyamoto's gonna come to my door and be like, brando son, you done messed up? I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so, <clears throat> we're going through. Uh, we have a stick, which is good. Breaking Bad, yes, I have seen Breaking Bad. Excellent show. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna smack this guy, grab that stick, and rush on over. Um, now you might see, um, I'm gonna do this temple a little vanilla. Like I said, I only had around, uh, two and a half days worth of practice, and I have a job. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I did the best I could. Uh, there is a way to skip this entire temple, uh, but it requires a lot of bomb hovering. I just didn't, just didn't want to do it. Yes, you can, um, 
Yeah, yeah. How, how does Breaking Bad relate? I don't know. Does, does it need to? Come on, Jesse. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna light this sucker. Um, yeah, you can transform masks into bottles, but not uh, any mask. It has to be a mask that ha doesn't have a transformation effect. So, can't be using Deku. Not that we'd want to. Um, and you can also use certain items. And um, the items have certain requirements, which I will get into a little more later. All right, cool, I kept my stick. The new Zelda game, yes, Tears of the Kingdom. I have seen it. I'm very interested. What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about the current Zelda formula? Um, it's it's different, right? I mean, every Zelda game has some new innovative design or idea, uh, but this one, this one's very different. All right. Are you ready for dragonfly seal and fish? Because they're coming. This is the worst room in the game. Um, it's impossible. Here we go. Focus, focus, focus. Focus, dragonflies, and go. Please don't hit me. Please, no, 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 mercy. Okay. I was never worried. Never worried. Easy. <clears throat> but yeah, the new Zelda game. It, it's interesting, right? Um, the three heart challenge, yes. It was the low percent challenge. I actually did a, a challenge one recently. A low percent run. Glitchless. Um, so absolute minimum items required. And beat the game in reverse order. And that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. We uh, we got a perfect kill on Majora. I had I did a 21 frame perfect input quick kill on Majora. Like 21 frame perfect inputs. Granted this game runs at like 20 frames per second. Whatever, it's, it, I was happy. I don't think, I've, I've never seen anyone do that before, but. We had the rhythm. All of us together had the rhythm. So we're zooming down here. Congratulations if I can get through this run again. Um, but thank you, thank you. So we're running over here. Again, um, there is a boss key skip. Oh, it uh, may be too late. Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. Oh, that's low. Oh, that was that was as low as it could go. So again, we're gonna use our other stick and conveniently have zero sticks and zero nuts. Conveniently. Nice. So, for those of uh, you who, uh, who weren't here earlier on, what is Zupercent? Uh, Zupercent is grabbing every single living or, I guess, thing that has a soul, um, animate creature in a bottle because it's Link's dream. It's his destiny to open up a zoo. Uh-oh. There we go. So, uh, in this run, the goal is we're gonna grab every single, um, living or soul-like thing on this list and catch it as fast as possible. Um, there's other things that's debatable. Is milk alive? Tell me, is milk alive? Yes or no? I don't know. I thought about getting milk, but I don't know if milk is alive. There's bacteria in milk. Does it count? I don't know. What is life? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, it is uh, Z Hundo percent. Milk is not alive. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think milk was alive either. That doesn't work. It's so infuriating. You can target it, but you have to hit slightly above it. Look at that. It's so weird. Bacteria does count as being alive, right? Maybe? Yes, absolutely. And uh, we're going to be playing this childhood game in a way, oh boy, in a way that uh, you probably don't remember. So we're actually going to jump on over here. And you'll notice that we're um, here at Woodfall and every other one of my runs that I usually do, um, we come here with uh, Goron. Goron uh, can actually do a quick kill on um, Odalba here, but we don't have Goron. And in fact, spoiler, we're not even getting Goron. How's that gonna work? Well, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, but we can do a quick kill on Majora in a different way. So that's what we're gonna do now. You have a Majora's Mask tattoo. Now that is cool. I actually have a couple of uh, tattoos as well. One of Link, just chilling. The one FPS challenge. That would be, oh yeah, let's do it. I'll make it work, one FPS, we got this. Okay, let's see if we can get uh, the quick kill. Got it. So with frame perfect spin attacks, uh, we can just kill him in one cycle, which is super cool. I would totally do a, a challenge like that. It sounds insanely fun. Um, I don't know why this heart piece is floating. Like, bro, can Deku like can't even get it? Can he? Okay, he can. That's that's pretty funny. All right, so we're going to grab the mask and get out of here. <clears throat> yeah, there, there's a couple more runs that um, I have planned as well. I'll keep those secret for now. Um, but this is one I always wanted to do because it has so many crazy glitches. So it's, it's really fun. I mean, yeah, um, I feel like... If you can find a way to play a game in a new way every time, it keeps it fresh and exciting, especially shorter games. Like Majora's Mask um, can be beaten in one sitting if you know what you're doing. Um, it take, takes me an average maybe six to seven hours to do like a challenge run and run through it. And that's really fun because you find new ways to play it. I find games... For whatever reason, Nintendo games especially are very easily replayed with different like restrictions and challenges, um, which is a lot of fun. The run ends when I get the big po. The big po is the end. Um, there, we will not be going through all the uh, dungeons. Spoiler again. If we could capture Majora in a bottle, then yes, that's that's when the run would end. But unfortunately, we can't. So I am playing on Nintendo Switch Online. I will quickly show. 
Um, so if you have Nintendo Switch Online, you can get this game and do the exact same tricks and glitches that I'm about to show off today. This song is fairly useless, unfortunately. Um, we're not going to be using this. Yeah, you need the online expansion pack, right? There's online, and then there's like an expansion to online. No, this is, I mean, this is, this is official, is, is what I'm saying. Whether it's an emulator, I think it technically is an emulator. Um, it is, it's just emulated on Nintendo Switch online. Um, but yeah, no, it, it is official. Yeah. This is a weird room. This is a very strange room. <clears throat> yeah, that, uh, a lot of my secrets and shorts show a lot of those cool dialogues because I, I love them. I think they're so cool. There is so much interesting dialogue. I, you can actually download um, a text dump of Majora's Mask, which I've done in every single language. And I love just looking through it and just seeing the differences and going through and seeing secret lines that you may not have seen before. And that's always super fun. This game is terrifying. <clears throat> there is a lot of hidden depth to this game. And it's a type of terrifying where it's not like, boo, it's ghosts. You think about the fact that the world is ending and everyone around you is dying. And like, once you like really start to think about the story and the concepts, you're like, what kind of Nintendo game is this? And then you learn about how the developers dealt with real life situations to make this game. And like, it's just, it's a depressing affair. And it, it really does make overcoming all these adversities really cool. All right, time for the next bottle. We're gonna get rid of this fish. We will give tribute. Deku Princess. It's a tight fit, but she'll be okay. Unfortunately, she is never getting out of there. Moving on. Okay. Um, what do we do now? All right, so now we're warping away. Um, we have never looked at the map, and that's very important because it will say Great Bay. If I hit left or right or anything else, the game will freeze and explode, and Nintendo will see that I am doing some stuff, so we're just gonna hit A. <laughs> if you want it at the very end, I'll crash the game. That's how we'll end it. I'll crash the game. That moon, I love that moon. That moon is placed in very good spots. They knew what they were doing with the camera there. Okay. So we're over here in Great Bay uh, because we did a, a glitch there called Index Warping. I've never been to Great Bay, uh, but because I hit a hidden owl statue in Clock Town, the game doesn't know where to place me and goes, um, okay. Well, Index Zero is Great Bay. So because you have an index of zero uh, related to your owl statue count and, and map cursor position, we're gonna place you here. I don't know why it sounded like a whale. I'm not kidnapping a princess. I literally saved her. Think about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
you know, there's actually some pretty cool French dialogue options. Um, so far, I've looked at the Japanese, Spanish, and English translations. Um, the French and German translations are a little different, and there's some pretty cool Easter eggs in there because they were actually the last to be translated. Um, the French and German ones, and they came with even different changes from the original Japanese ones. And it's very interesting to see how those transitioned. All right, I can skip this cutscene, but for your pleasure, I will not. Because I love his, his singing voice. Just listen. What a beautiful voice. What a beautiful voice. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna get the Zora mask. Zora mask is required. If you can see the next item, Zora egg, the only way we're gonna be getting that without some Ocarina Dive shenanigans, uh, it was with Zora. And Zora will come in use uh, later on as well. So we do need Zora for a couple of glitches. So we're gonna be using Zora. <laughs> you want voice acting? Here. Baby! Honestly, um, has anyone played Tears of the Kingdom? Um, obviously Link won't talk, ever, and I don't think Link should ever talk. Uh, the silent protagonist kind of fits his, like, persona very well. Do other characters talk? Um, or is it kind of like a mumbled Hylian language? I haven't actually looked into the game enough yet. I've kind of kept it a secret. I, I actually don't even have it yet. Um, I've been so busy with these other projects that I haven't gotten into it, but I will. I'm sure it's teeming with secrets and oddities. Yeah, they, they do talk and it's in English or whatever native language you are. It's an interesting question. <clears throat> Are, is Link and Zelda in love? I, I think certain iterations of them could be in love. Um, but I don't think every reincarnation of Link and Zelda are in love. Yeah, Habadi. You know, it's like The Sims. Dupa Marsh. You're like, what are you, what are you talking about? <clears throat> We got the big fish mask, and this big fish mask is gonna help us grab some big fish eggs. So, let's immediately get on over here. Mm -hmm. What is up? Yeah, I can totally see that. The more DS versions, like you would call them the Wind Waker era, kind of like uh, looks, yeah. You can definitely hint at the romantic relationship. <laughs> Boosting. All right, we're gonna be in just like 00 Zora 7. Bump, 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 bump. Okay. All right. Let's, zoom, let's just do some zooming around here. Okay. Mm, wish we had more bombs, but that's okay. The truck from the shop. Okay. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda show? Yeah, what a show. 
Oops. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we have ISG, aka Infinite Sword Glitch, which will allow us not to fall, which is important, because we can do shenanigans like this. And do some hovers over here. Cool. Just enough bomb shoes. We could have used bombs to hover, uh, but bomb shoes are just so much easier, it's absurd. So, uh, by doing that, we skip the entire, like, little puzzle that we need to go through with Zora. Um, and now, we are actually inside of the fortress. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna shoot her in the butt. Don't worry, she's fine, I swear. She's got a little bit of, you know, butt pain, but it's fine. It's, it's like a shot at the doctor. Shoot her as well. Okay, I think we shot her in the elbow. Again, totally fine. Uh, we're gonna do another little trick here. Uh, this is a fun one. Um, you can completely skip this next cutscene just by lining yourself up here. And looking through the window, you can just barely see the beehive. And if you can just snipe it before you walk too close, uh, you can trigger the beehive to fall early and um, if there's no guards here, then there's no cutscene to be had. So. <clears throat> we'll just go collect our reward now. Yes, I am counting the eggs that... They evolve into, like, living things, right? I don't know. I'm counting because it takes 30 seconds and they're right here and bottle duping's fun. So that's that's literally the whole the whole reason. Tadpoles, yeah, they turn into tadpoles. They're just waiting for a song. Okay, so um, so we did bottle duping with masks. We can do it with items. Listen for the weird sound. So I, I used a bottle and then used a stick right after um that confused the game and now it thinks that my stick is a bottle so um that trick can only be done on items which you have a zero count of so since we had zero sticks we are allowed to dupe over it and now we have a bottle there Yes, we will not forget the picture. Thank you very much. We're going to grab that on the way out. Please don't hurt me. All righty. So we have yet another item. Oh, yeah. I'm mesmerized, too. Let's get the splits right. If any of you can beat my splits, I'll give you a little shout out maybe in one of the shorts, which that could be pretty fun. But let's get this photo. All right, is it safe to jump? Yeah, I think it's safe to jump. Ow. I hope that's a good enough photo. All right, again, since I haven't activated any owl statues or looked at my map screen, again, the default warp index of zero is here at Great Bay. Actually, we need to do this. Hello, hello. We're gonna be doing another uh, bottle dupe. So with the bottle. Listen for the sound. I went ba-bam. Uh, that means you got the glitch right over an item specifically. And now we have an extra bottle there. So we no longer have sticks. We no longer have nuts. 
Um, those have been used up for the greater good. <clears throat> All right, cool. So we now have a free bottle, which we'll need for the seahorse. I would like to speak to the seahorse. Okay. So he won't give us it because we don't have a quote unquote empty bottle. We're going to need to do some bottle swapping um, because it will only count our real bottle. So we need to make sure that our real bottle is empty, which it is. We're gonna talk to this guy again. And now that we have a free bottle slot that the game is looking for, um, we can now grab the seahorse. There we go. So it's important that we have the right bottle open there. All right, so we got the seahorse. We are flying through. And it's time to keep flying. Um, the next thing we're going to be doing... Oops, no. Don't look at that. Almost crashed the game. Um, we're going to look specifically at Woodfall. So you notice we went to the map screen and we looked at Woodfall. Because of that, when we play Song of Soaring now, it will now say Clock Town. For whatever reason, depending on where the last thing in the map is that you looked at, that will influence where the index glitch works. And again, index glitch is working because we haven't activated any owl, technically. Um, so we need, what do we need? Do we need more bomb shoes? We do need more bomb shoes and more bombs. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we need to waste a little bit of time. We're gonna go out, grab a little bit of money, grab some bomb money for bomb shoes, and we're gonna grab yet another mask, uh, which, surprise, surprise, we're gonna be turning into yet another bottle. Okay, no bombs, not what I wanted. Ba backwards, backwards long jump. <laughs> uh, backwards long jump. Is it backwards long jump? There, backwards long jumped it. Um, uh, donate my uh, money to charity. Any charity you want. Is it finishable in the fourth day glitch? I actually don't know. Um, that's something I don't know too, too much about. My uh, recent um, X or foray into glitches have been fairly recent. Uh, that's something I don't know. All right, so we're gonna run over here. Talk to our good buddy. Ah, uh, we have our beautiful Bremen mask. Look at these little feathers. Ah, uh, what a great mask. We'll wear it out of here in style. Okay, 
Um, so let's turn this into a bottle right now. Yeah, we use it for a second. And uh, it's it's time to go. It was fire, and, but now it's bottle. <laughs> Forever. Anyway, um, okay, so, we, so we're gonna buy a couple of bomb shoes and then we're gonna continue on. So we are approaching the end, um, but there are a couple of big challenges left. Uh, Fairy's not that big of a challenge, but one that is, is Poe. Poe took me a long time to figure out how to get Poe. Poe, Pope Edgar Allan Poe. It's, it was wow. But we figured it out. Um, hold on, I need to pull open a sheet because I need to look at something. So, Deku and Goron Village, okay. So we're gonna be doing some weird things right now. That song sucks. <laughs> Bottled fire. All right, uh, okay, nope. We're not gonna crash the game. We are gonna go look at Deku Palace. We're looking at it. We're thinking about Deku Palace in our minds. We're envisioning it, okay? Take us to Deku Palace, but instead takes us to Mountain Village. We are tele terrible at teleporting. <clears throat> oh yeah, the little chicks. Um, yeah, so we are here. Why, why are we here? Again, this is for some more index warping madness. Now, if, does anyone know where a Poe is in this game? Does anyone have any idea the only location where you can get a Poe? <clears throat> yeah, we did a, a uh, all masks run um, in the 3 day challenge, uh, and we got that mask as well. That was a lot of fun. We also did an all the items run, which was insane. We got all masks, every single item possible, all the fairies, in three days without glitches. Uh, it was, it was, it was something. All right, we're in Goron Village. So we're gonna look at Goron Village. And um, we're gonna play our little song. And when we do, it's gonna take us to Stone Tower. <clears throat> That's right. The only Poe location that we can grab is in Stone Temple Tower. All right, um... Careful. Fairy! Yeah, so you notice we warped all the way up here and completely skipped all of Ikana, all the ice arrows we need, all the under the well. We don't have the mirror shield. We skipped all of it. And we have some shenanigans we are gonna do. So normally we need something called the Elegy, um, but we don't have that song. But we do have something called the ability to control time itself. And we're gonna <laughs> display that now. Okay. So we're gonna look this way. Look this way. Do we're gonna backflip onto this little switch. And then very specifically, we're gonna target And we just kind of shield. We shield while holding our bottle and time stops. And we can just use that to just ride a platform on over like it was nothing. Yes, we are gonna crash the game at the end. That is, that is part of the run, crashing the game, which is gonna happen. Cool. All right, so we just totally skipped that. <clears throat> Uh, this glitch is weird. Uh, it's very weird. We need to get past this block, but we don't have, uh, light arrows. Um, so what we're gonna do instead...
is just fly through the corner with a bomb. Um, with some very, very precise movements. Uh, oh no, I'm grabbed. Um, you can get Zora, and specifically Zora, the reason we need Zora in this run um, to do that is uh, we, we can just blast ourselves through the block. So. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Oh, I just dropped fish because I'm feeling swag. <clears throat> the 3DS version, that would be insane. I, I don't know if these glitches are available. It, it would probably be a very, very different run, which would be cool. Okay. Alright, I will make a save state up ahead. Just because there is a chance that the run could completely crash if I don't do something absolutely right. Um, so. You can make save states, so we'll create a suspend point. We'll do it over slot two. And I'm just doing this in case the game crashes or does something weird. I'm just gonna set this up again. I wasn't ready. Wow, I don't know what happened there. Let's try it again. Alright, got it. Alright, what did I just do? Uh, that was called Weird Shot. Uh, it wasn't technically first try, I mean, it really kind of was, but... That, uh, is quite the glitch. Um, how does it work? I will explain it. Um, I could do it again here, but it's easier to explain it. So what happened? And sorry, I needed concentration for that. I literally just learned that trick yesterday. Um, so... I didn't pull it off till yesterday. Uh, it is as hard as it looks. Oh, no, I'm gonna... <clears throat> Maybe I should just do it again. Um, so what did I do? <clears throat> the idea is you place a bomb down or a damage source and you roll into it at a very specific frame. This game, I believe, runs at 20 or 30 frames per second. Um, and when you do that, you try to pull out your hook shot at a very specific point. When you pull out your hook shot and you're getting hit at a certain time, the game will know what to do and just shoots you down underground. Uh, when you're shot down underground, you can then proceed to hook shot or attack with any item that you <clears throat> pulled out. In this case, the hook shot. I was able to shoot through the wall because there's no collision going backwards through walls. Walls are one way in this game. <clears throat> and uh, with that, <clears throat> I was able to hookshot a box conveniently placed right on the other side of that sunblock. Uh, we couldn't bomb through that sunblock in any other way. Um, weird shotting, as it's called, was the way to do it. 
And that is how we can skip most of this temple in order to grab the one thing, uh, the one of two things that we need, which is going to be light arrows. I hear the menu screen when I sleep as well. All right, cool, so we have light arrows. <clears throat> Why did we get light arrows? Well, <clears throat> remember when I said there was a Poe in this temple? There is. But only when the temple is upside down. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to make another little a uh, save state here. Just because the game can crash here. Um, I, I think it crashed over a dozen times for me yesterday uh, when I was trying to do this. So um, let's hope it doesn't crash. <clears throat> so there's no way to do... Um, actually. I could do time stop here, couldn't I? I could. But we're going to try this one more time. Actually, you know what? I'll just do time stop. Right? Yeah. Why am I being dumb? <clears throat> oh, that's why. Because the camera's weird. That's right. We can't do time stop. We have to do this. Okay. So here we go. Weird shot number two. So we're waiting for it to explode. Ooh, I think that was it. Oh, no. I don't think this is going to work. Yep. Oh, man. What happened? All right. We have to reset that one. Try it again. Uh, I, I got a bad frame. There we go. You can shoot the back of this eye, uh, and the light actually pers like goes through, um, and that allows you to hit the eye from behind. So, actually, I'm very happy with my weird shots today. That is not an easy trick to do. You got to switch the light. Oh my goodness. Um, if you want cheap games, just um, honestly get Nintendo Switch online. There are so many games you get for like a monthly, like $5. It's great. All right, next glitch uh, this is actually a trick. We're going to stand right on this crack here and look directly over here. Do with some weird movement and just completely die. Um, that was not the trick. We'll try it again. <clears throat> 
All right. You know what they say, third try is the charm. The idea is here, we're gonna be placing a bomb on a very specific place on this crack. And when we do, it's gonna launch Link off in a very specific way. <clears throat> the idea is we will eventually grab this platform. Ooh, that's not good. I don't think I messed this up a single time in practice, so this is interesting. Alright, on the line. Point this direction. Ooh. You gotta be careful about that. Sometimes you can target this enemy when you really don't want to. There we go. Careful not to die, and we're through! Lovely. Okay. <clears throat> we can get rid of uh, the rest of our bombs now. I know, it seems sacrilegious. We're getting rid of bombs? How? How could we do this? Well, <clears throat> it's time. Okay, cool. So, uh, we are going to sacrifice our bombs for yet another bottle. Okay, we have our bottle. The easiest way to kill a Poe quickly is to fail miserably getting in the flower. There it is. Poe is got. <clears throat> give me, give me, give me. Okay, cool. And we're off to our final item. <clears throat> and the final item is Big Poe. Now there are two locations for Big Poe. but there's only one that's honestly realistic. No one saw that. No one saw that. We're good. We're good. No one saw that. No one saw that I just ate it. It's still inside me. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's completely fine. The Poe lives inside of me. Everything's fine. I'm not crying, you're crying. Okay, here we go. Come on, good glutes. We're actually here a little bit ahead of schedule, which is fine. Listen. Poe I. The Poe the po tasted great, but listen, it takes like eight hours to digest, right? That Poe is still alive. I have eight hours. <clears throat> Oh my god, there's so many Negeron. Ah! Let's get, get away! Ah, there's so many of them. Mm. 
the big Poe is coming up. All part of the plan. Okay. Just ignore that one bottle. It's fine. Time to begin our war on the undead. Go, Bombchu Army! You can blow up Dante. He's pretty tough. <laughs> At the yeah. It's gonna happen soon. <clears throat> All right, we have our final bottle open. Nope, we need, don't mind that. There's definitely a little Poe in there. You saw it, we all saw it. Um, Night of the final day. All right, so we need to get into this grave, uh, but we don't have the mask or anything. So uh, we're going to be doing some shenanigans. <clears throat> what? No, get away. I don't like you. <clears throat> okay. So the very specific setup to get in this grave. Uh, we're going to wait for this guy to pass. Come on. Come on. Come on. What was that? There we go. We are on the grave. It happened. And then while on the grave, if we decide to read it in a very, very, and I do mean very, specific spot, the game will go, oh, really? The game will go. It wasn't specific enough. It's very specific. The specifics I can't quite cl clarify because it's so specific. Specifically speaking, It's very specific, this spot. We just need to stand on the corner. Like so. Like so, like so. Like so. Like, like, there's no setup. There's just very specifically. In fact, you know what? Sometimes it's better to do the double check. Always double check on things, guys. Remember, double check. Double check. Just double checkage. There we go. See? Double check. <clears throat> and Dampe is suddenly down here. Okay. It's time to take Dampe to the graves. <laughs> we did it, everyone. <clears throat> so we went through. We are in the grave. And this is one of the spots where you can grab a big po.
All right, watch out for the wall master. All right, took care of him. Yeah. How many gigabits? I, I don't know if they're even one gigabit. If I'm being completely honest, <clears throat> they're not even a single gigabit. <clears throat> Games on the N64, they were they were pretty small. Um, the 3DS version is probably a lot more. Uh, the reality is most of like these bits that a game is being held on is all in graphics and textures because the graphics in this were still pretty simple, pretty polygonal. Um, didn't have to worry about that much. Yeah, like 10 megabytes. Yeah, the 3DS is half a gig. <clears throat> so um they have uh, rumored that an ocarina of time uh remake is in the works um it it's in that weird position where they don't know if it's going to be for switch yet or for a new upgraded switch hardware but i think we're at the point in video game development where it doesn't really matter about next gen architecture um so much I feel like they use a lot of the similar kind of techniques and processing power. Um, <clears throat> a Switch 2 or Switch It Up or whatever they want to call it probably won't be like revolutionary. So they'll probably develop it on the Switch and probably port it to the next console. It'll be interesting to see. Yes, yes, they have. Uh, in the investor reports, um, uh, it was like the last one, not this recent one, the one before. They did talk about uh, an Ocarina of Time development program that they're going to be starting, but there is no other information about it. Um, we don't know what it's going to be. If it's just going to be a re-release, um, most likely a remake of sorts. Um, who knows? Um, is anyone here a fan? Are you for cereal? <clears throat> How does that even happen? So it's just called Ocarina of Time, right? That's the original game. So if you say Ocarina of Time, it it applies to... We're going to make him go from this angle so he doesn't fall off like a dingus. Um, it, it, when you play say Ocarina of Time, it implies you, you mean the original. When you say Ocarina of Time 3D, um, then yeah, we, we, you know which one you're talking about. 3DS. So yeah, very, very excited for any sort of Ocarina of Time remake. That'd be fantastic. Um, but um, I think that uh, Resident Evil does a great job with their remakes. I think if Zelda could learn from them and how to like revamp things, keep it spicy, I think that would be amazing. the leader of the ghosts it really is the era of remakes like we had tony hawk remade spyro and crash bandicoot remade all the resident evils are being remade we're talking about some of these original zelda games being remade it is the era of remakes it is what a time yeah yeah like grezzo did that remake um they were an outside company for pokemon oh get ready here it is the big po and time definitely have definitely have all the items definitely have all that the po is just taking a nap Definitely have them all. All items have been obtained. Now, you've been asking for it. It's time. Get ready to crash the game. Are you ready? 
Are we ready? A minute, one hour and a half. I now challenge you to see if you can beat this time. I, I, I took my time. I explained things. Um, but it's time. We can't throw the princess anywhere, unfortunately. Uh, she stays in our bottle. Um, so we're, we, we took every living thing and we're taking it down with us. All right. Crashing the game now. It is, it is completely frozen. It is broken. I can't hit any button. It is, it, it's gone. It's gone. And that's it. That, that was Majora's Mask. The zoo is small, but it's a good zoo. And part of the zoo is definitely there, even though you can't see it. You got to believe that it's there. <laughs> yeah, no proof. Yeah, it's there's no proof whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. Um, and that was the run. Um, so sorry, not a longer stream today. Um, I wanted to do something very technical, very interesting, show you guys some very cool glitches and tricks. Um, and I'm going to be starting a new series called Glitches and Tricks. Um, a lot of the runs, uh, a lot of the things I did in this run led me on to even more tricks and glitches. So expect some fun videos coming your way about those. Uh, we're still going to be doing Majora's Mask Secrets and Oddities. But I will announce, it is going to be capped at 100. We're at number 77. So once we get to 100, we will finish that series off before we move on to a brand new project. So um, we will be doing glitches and tricks from Majora's Mask, but Secrets and Oddities will move on. To kill everything, that's not what a zoo is, Sealing Fish. That's bad. Yeah, kind of like Son of a Glitch, uh, but uh, in short form. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We have some fish, a princess. Oh, and a big Poe. Oh, yeah. We, we got it all. So, yeah, the game is completely broken. Uh, it's, it is, it's, it's bad. Uh, but you know what? J just for fun. Um, so we actually have to close it. And reopen it. There's another crash I can do. So before I'll go, I will try to demonstrate one more crash, an even more brutal crash that will literally make my switch die. Um, so that, that'll be fun. Yeah. It's a me, Mario. All right, so um, I said that the game could crash at certain places, uh, and this is one of them. So we're gonna try to crash here to really finish it off. One more big crash. Okay, o okay, Link, are we good? Okay, hold on. Sometimes everything rumbles and it gets me confused. The crashing is going great. Hold on. One. Two. So, usually, I like to do the weird shot. You need to do it on a frame before this. But if we do it on this frame... Ooh, hold on. I think that was one frame too late. Come on. Two. Three. Ooh. I'm better at this trick than I thought. One, two, one, 
One more frame. Darn it, I'm too good at the glitch. All right, I couldn't do it. I tried. I tried to crash the game. We'll give it one last try. If I don't get it here, we'll just end it. All right, we couldn't crash the game the way I wanted to, uh, but we crashed it with the other way, which was a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, thanks again for coming in. I hope you enjoyed the glitch run. I'm sorry, I'm just too good at the weird shot now, apparently. Um, so I couldn't crash the game. Um, expect more secrets and oddities coming your way next week. Um, yeah, yeah, part two, crash the game percent. But yeah, thanks for coming in, and um, yeah, uh, expect more fun runs. The next big run, I'll give you a hint, is going to involve the Bomber's Notebook. That's one item we've never really gotten, so expect some fun with that. Anyway, guys, I will see you all next time.